Oh, uh, two songs, but okay. <laughs> yep, anyways, welcome back to Dang and Rompa. Oh, yeah, that's right. Cool! <laughs> Someone died here. <laughs> um, excuse me? What? what was that intro? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, right! <laughs> So yeah, they, yeah. Like, some uh, some guy with a mask died. The mask. What? Imagine you enter somewhere, the room, <laughs> and there's a dead body laying on the ground. Oh yeah, there's a dead body on the ground. Yeah. Is this gonna? You're a psycho boss. You know that? How? You know that? How? Who reacts like that? Who reacts like that to a Because Veggie, because Veggie's remembering. We need to find oh, out dun, who dun, this is, no. actually. What? No, but... What? But there's no way to tell with the mask covering their face like that. Huh? Eh? And the white coat they're wearing makes it impossible huh? to tell anything about the body itself. The victim's a total mystery. But one thing I do know... Yeah... Is that whoever this is, they attacked me last night in my room. But why? How'd they wind because up dead Vig here? Because he's dumb. Yeah, he's dumb. Their I, heart I'm, isn't I'm actually... beating. They're not breathing. All signs of life have come to a complete stop. Thanks to the knife that's been driven into the stomach. Their clothes are stained a bright red. Uh, actually, it's pink. And that... That fuchsia, if you didn't know? Fuchsia, the yeah. color? Oh, fuchsia? Yeah, fuchsia. That's the color. That's a good color. It appears the bleeding stopped, but the blood that's there is still wet. Be careful you didn't touch it and got some on ya. How can you be so calm at a time like this, man? Who is it? Their face and body are all hidden, so I don't have a clue. I'm pretty sure it's a girl at least. Huh? How can you tell? Well, I think I see the outline of her chest and just the general shape of the body. Yeah, the more I look, the more I'm sure it's a girl. Really? Then it could be... Yeah! Okay then! I just tear the mask clean off. Wait, don't! But by the time he called out, it was already too late. Toku's hand shot up towards the mask. And the next instant... BOOM! <laughs> There was a oh. blinding light and a deafening roar. The body blew up. It blew up, 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 it blew up. Why did he have to say that that many times? Because you said it too many times. My vision started to darken and I prepared to pass out. No, you said it too many times. Damn it. But then... You said it too many times. Oh yeah, put out the fire. As my consciousness attempted to float away, that voice reached up and pulled it back down to earth. Someone pressed something into my hands. It was a bucket of water. Come on, dump the water on it. Okay. The upper half of the body was on fire. I took aim and tossed the water as hard as I could. Sploosh. Thankfully, that was enough to put out the fire. It died down, leaving behind only the unpleasant smell of burning. Well, it... Guess that took care of it. What the hell, man? <laughs> Exploded? I had a bad feeling about the body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now the body... It's like hash. <laughs> it is very too crisp. That's beyond well done, man. Compared to a steak, I'll never be able to eat this steak.
take a can. But now that the body's charred, I really, I really have no idea. How are we gonna find out who it was? Who isn't here right now? Huh? Kyoko. Yeah, Kyoko is kind of sus right now. If you consider who's not here, that'll quickly narrow down who it must be. There's only one person missing. It's Kyoko, dude. Kyoko? That dead body is Kyoko? Nah, that can't be right. Calm down, I didn't say it was Kyoko. I mean, who else, dude? There is one other person. The Mastermind. What? The Mastermind? Come on, there's no way. The Mastermind got child Get serious. I agree, normally the idea wouldn't be worth considering. But I have a reason to believe it may be true. I mean, we do remember Monokuma exploding in the first chapter. The mastermind being dead would explain that other matter, wouldn't it? Monokuma can hardly move around if its master's dead, right? Uh, but that corpse is a girl, right? It don't know make sense, man. I mean, remember what Atahiga said? He said the mastermind's some middle-aged dude, right? Which the corpse obviously ain't. Then that could mean the mastermind isn't the headmaster? Is it the teenage girl Kyoko told me about? The ultimate despair? Eh? Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student at Hope's Peak? What are you talking about? The other day, Kyoko confided in me. She said there was a 16th student here in this school. I think you better tell us everything you know. Well, all Kyoko told me was... She's dangerous. <laughs> Sound like Kyoko thinks Mukuriku Saba is the mastermind. There's another student here, and it's a female that would match the body's characteristics. And that phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds super mastermindy, doesn't it? <laughs> Mindy. Okay, so. Veggie, what? excuse me, are Ooh. you making fun of me for what? No, I'm not making fun of you, I'm making fun of the game. No, 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 no. Mm. Honey, I wouldn't make mm. fun of you. No. Excuse me, you make fun of me all the time, oh, daily, yeah, on yeah, a daily basis. Yeah, because you see, and I love teasing you. Well, yeah, I am. <laughs> well, yeah, I am. Yeah. Dum dum. And you said you don't. Excuse me, Veggie. What well, is this I'm hypocrisy? Not I'm not trying well, to hurt your feelings. I, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. Yeah, Kiwi. Mm -hmm, huh? Sure. Dum Dum says who? <laughs> Just because you think so doesn't mean it's the truth, does it? Wow, please don't mm. have your feelings hurt, baby. Come here, come Snuggles. here. Snuggles. Yeah, yeah honey's comfy. Yeah. Okay, so, the mastermind is this girl, Mukuro, and she's a student here, and she's the ultimate despair, and she's cool, and but if she's been hiding here in school like some teenage Bigfoot, Ashy wind up burnt to a crisp, dude. None of this makes no sense, man. Did you suddenly show up and then die? I think we better take a closer look at the body. There may the, be the some clues so to help us figure out exactly who it is. <gasps> ah, hey, wait. What? what? Aren't we forgetting something in a toko? Uh, yeah, yeah, she's the worst face. <laughs> yeah, totally blown up, huh? Yeah, she got like like blasted away yeah. in the cutscene. Forget about her. I'm sure yeah. the explosion vaporized her. <laughs> oh, she survived. Oh, she survived. 
Huh? What just happened, Master? You declared for the whole world to hear that you'd never again inhale a single mole here of jock of oxygen. Joxygen. <laughs> Dum dum. What? What's geoxygen then? <laughs> hmm? I don't know. Hmm? I made that up. I, I I don't know. I made that up. Joxygen. Good job. <laughs> Joxygen. Good job. <laughs> Good gonna, job. I'm dum -dum. gonna write that down. I have no. Good job, Dum Dum. Yeah, thank this you. This is why I should never learn from you because why? you say everything wrong. Why? Because you say geoxygen. Jo anyone. Joxygen. Yeah, good job. Yeah, you did a good job. Mm. Yes, you did. Oh, then I don't mind breathing in the carbon dioxide. The exhale. That's enough for me to live. That's the strangest back and forth I've ever seen, man. <laughs> How are you doing, Tom? You're the one to talk. Oh, but I want to say something. Here, Muffin. The ultimate, the ultimate despair is the most famous title, so you better remember that. <laughs> I mean, I had a feeling since Monokuma won't shut up about despair the entire game. Yep. I mean, I literally I associate the yeah. word despair huh? with uh, Danganronpa. <laughs> I see that word in any like other many game. many people do. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Veggie's not a racial, I guess. My bad. Are you actually unhappy? Are you yeah. actually unhappy over yeah. that? Yeah. You're okay. probably disappointed in me. No. I never said that. Okay. Why why would I be disappointed in you? Because veggie's happy. veggie's not original. So? Mm, okay, I guess BB's not upset. Say something original then. Um, bun, bun, not a bun Bun is a fluffy strawberry muffin who sits on clouds and snuggles in Hello Kitty PJs all day. <laughs> okay, but you just you called me a cloud. Why am I on clouds now? Well, if because, I'm a cloud. Because that's original now. I said you're a strawberry muffin. Cloud. Honey is a cloud sleeping or in a cloud. The... Dum -dum, how does that make any sense? Mm, I don't know, but clouds are fluffy, so honey obviously wants to sleep in them. <laughs> okay. Honey's gonna, honey's gonna steal Hello Kitty's air balloon. <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> I have mm, one more space left. Yay. Invite Veggie oh, then. Okay, I will. Yay. Also, I don't get upset easily. Why do you assume I get upset easily? Uh, oops, my bad. I didn't mean to say that. You're very good and not upset, Bun Bun. I know, it's fine. Hmm. You wanna sip? Yeah, sip, sip. Okay. I saw something out of the corner of my eye, just for a second. It's a corpse, isn't it? Well, I guess so. I mean, who would survive being blown up and literally bleeding in fire? Mm. Yeah, nobody. Bet you would. Veggie would, because Veggie is strong enough to survive that. Oh, would you? Um, I mean, I'll definitely, I'll definitely face it head on. Oh, what do you mean? Mm, I mean, I have experience with smoke anyway. What does that have to do with being blown up and being burnt? <laughs> oh, um, I don't know. I'm not sure what getting blown <laughs> up feels like. <laughs> I don't think you will know. 
<laughs> I'd prefer not to know what it feels like. I mean, realistically speaking, I don't think you will feel much. Like, oh, okay. you will feel a very much, a burning feeling for a few seconds and you're dead, I guess. Mm, I see. <laughs> I mean, is it painful? Uh, I don't know. I imagine probably not. That, that, okay, that's that's pretty weird to think about. <laughs> yeah, it is. Mm, you guess? Which is it? Is it a dead body or not? It's a dead body. I hate this, I hate it. I'm not gonna look at it. I wanna paint again. Yeah, we don't want that either, so I think it's best if you don't look. I won't die. Why? Why is this happening? Boop. Even the explosion was done perfectly, though. I gotta hand it to whoever did it. Is it wrong to admire that kind of skill? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, the mastermind just got mastermind. Uh, pretty good, right? That one's going in the joke book of my soul. That wasn't very funny. I had a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. Regardless, I can't help but wonder who it was. Things are going more interesting by the minute. Boo. Why can't... It is very interesting. I should take a close look at the body one more time. Watch yourself, Mako. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. Don't worry, I don't plan on touching the body all that much. I'm not Kyoko, after all. Yeah, I was thinking about her. Um, there's a drive. Something next to the body, it's a key? Oh, I thought that was a USB. <laughs> Is it what Kyoko Good took job, from Tom Monokuma? Tom. That's like a completely different key, though. That's right, the key she stole was shaped like Monokuma. This isn't anything like that. Then this key is... I don't know. What is it? Did you find something? Yeah, this is on the ground near the body. I've never seen this key before. Wait, wrong voice. I've never seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? So even you don't know then? Makoto, I'm going to give you a very important task. Huh? That key might give you access to certain areas we thought were locked. Oh, like maybe the bio room? The bio lab, the data center, the headmaster's room, and the dorm rooms on the second floor. It's in your hands. So I'm your errand boy now. Oh, what? Oh, that, that was all that there was to look at the body for? Um, no, there's more, but I don't think you can. Man. Well, obviously the first thing will be maybe to look at the you bio should lab. check the headmaster's room. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I'm right here. I might as well go to the bio and the lab. the headmaster's room? Well, the headmaster's room is downstairs, so... Let's give it a shot. Oh. I um... went to insert the key I found in the guard in the keyhole. The key isn't close to fitting, which means the key doesn't go to this room. Okay, we got that out of the way, at least. So... That's the bio lab. Um... Okay, well, we all want to go to the fourth floor, obviously. Yes. Yeah. And we gotta go check out the headmaster's room, which is. Right. Right? Right. Oh my goodness. Where are you going? That is not where the headmaster's room is. Here it is. I said right, but you went like, like you... way. Okay, let's give it a shot. Mm, key won't go in. 
Okay, I mean, let me go to this door. Okay, well, he also said... Um... Dorm, like dorm rooms dorm on the second floor? Dorm second floor. Where are those dorm rooms? Are they over here? Let me check the map out quick. Uh, archive, library. Oh, I'm confused. Mm. Okay. Check it. I'm buying your connections bad again. Yeah. I'm done. No, you. Bon bon, you gotta reconnect. Hold on. Um, now we went to go jack off. You have the bathrooms again. That's the pool. I'm confused. Where else can I look? Well, this is the first floor, obviously. Oh, here we go, I found it. I've never been here before. Have I? This keeps blocking an access to a set of stairs that leads up to the second floor. Hmm. No good, it won't go in. I guess this is what the key goes to. I didn't even realize there were a second set of dormitory floors. Okay. Where else can we go? Mmm, the data center. Let's try the data center then. Uh, Hi, hon. What? What? Hi, Bun Bun. What? Aren't you cute? Look at you, Muffin. Mm hmm. What? Yep, Pat Pat. Hmm. Data Lab. Bitchy Bitchy. Aw, oh, honey, honey. I. Oh, it fits. I think I, I, I knew it was the data lab anyway. Does oh. it fit the door? Didn't you tell? It is blue, yeah. This is the key to the data center. I managed to unlock a data center. I guess all that running around paid off. I have to go tell everyone else. Is it a really good idea to to not open the door and check what's inside and to wait, run back forward just to say, oh, I unlocked one door. Hey, I unlocked the door. Okay, what's, what's inside? I don't know. <laughs> but it's unlocked. That's such a veggie thing. Yeah, that is such a veggie thing. Also, I but found the, um, while you are gone, I found the second floor dormitory, which I didn't even know that was there. Wait, what? What do you mean? There's, um, there's a, there's like a gate covering a set of stairs to the second floor dormitory rooms, and we've never been up there, interestingly enough. Oh, okay. Yeah, we might get a key for that eventually. So you're back. How'd it go? I found out which room the key goes to. It's the data center down on the fourth floor. Maybe we can get into the data center now, man. Interesting. But why did the now deceased have that key on them? I suppose we'll just have to go to the data center and find out. Yeah, I think you're right. Here we are. Looks like the door's still unlocked. Hey, so when you open that door, there's not gonna be another huge kaboom like before, right? Yeah, I see that question now. Don't worry, we have Makoto. What? <laughs> it's in your hands. Again? It means I trust you. That's an absolute lie. I'm just being used. Hey, Toko. No, we have Toko. <laughs> Toko's here. Uh, master told you he trusts you. 
master told you that? Well, don't let it go to your head. I am so not happy about any of this. T I mean, everybody's here. You might as well get some flavor text. I said I trust you. You now have an obligation to live up to that trust. It will be fine. I have this on the job. Not that that's any kind of guarantee. Not a guarantee. Why are you all the way over here, bruh? <laughs> I am totally sure there won't be another kaboom. Very serious. But, uh, He's just cute. to be safe, I'm gonna go stand somewhere else. Oh, that's why he's there. <laughs> yeah, I know. Makes sense. He's a wuss. A wimp. Yeah, what a loser. I reached out and put my hand on the door. I closed my eyes and tried to clear my mind. With a silent prayer, I slowly opened the door. Kaboom. Oh. Nothing happened. After making sure I was still alive, I slowly opened my eyes. It's Monokuma. Ooh. Creepy. What is this Five Nights at Freddy's creepy. looking ass place? That's creepy. Look Spook at that door. Spooky door. In a word, the room was strange. I mean, all the rooms up till now are strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. Well, I'm just gonna make sure I'm recording. Okay, good. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school. Here, the fear was leaking, lurking beneath the surface. Yeah, it was leaking. The room was filled with that kind of dread. Hey, that's... Here extended a trembling hand and pointed. Look at all those monitors on the wall. Why is there a world map? Yeah, the world map. Uh, We're gonna uh, broadcast this all over the world. Oh, uh -huh -huh. you jumped too far. Like, two games ahead. <laughs> Oh, I did? Yep. Oops. Look what they're showing. Each monitor displayed a different section of the school. I mean, that's pretty cool, though. The dorms, the classrooms... I mean, that's, that's basically the secretary, I guess. Because they also have the monitors with the whole damn... Uh, what the camera shows. I mean, there are cameras everywhere. It has to... There has to be a room with the cameras, you know? This is like a, one of that those security sense. guard rooms. Yeah. Every part of the school is covered. This is... This is a direct feed from every single surveillance camera. Wow, finally, oh, those, yeah. finally those surveillance cameras have a use. All the cameras in the school feed back into this room. And they're displayed here on these monitors. So the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. To watch us? And this room is... The Mastermind's private room, without a doubt. The Mastermind's room... I guess that makes sense. So the Mastermind was here. Yeah, no shit. Watching us. Wait, I, I have a question. What's I have up? a question. Why is there a camera in this room? In this room? Like, where's... Look, look behind Biakria. Oh, yeah. Well, where is that pointing? What's the point of that camera? <laughs> <laughs> I then I know. think this settles it. That's my question. Like, where is it even pointing? And what is it I think it, I think it's. I think it's pointing at the chair. You know, to, like, what, make sure that the person is there? I don't know. Not the door? <laughs> Yeah, we're pointing at the door and make sure that nobody breaks in. I mean, that would make sense, in mm -hmm. a way, but... I guess, you know, since, just in case, like, you know, maybe the mas or the mastermind doesn't have to, like, shift his eyes from the screens, I don't know. What? I do he's... Like, the, the, master the mastermind will be looking at the monitors, you know, and he'll notice that, like, the door's opening on one of them, and he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, okay. That makes more sense now. Wow, Veggie made sense for once? That's rare. Yeah, I know. You know, as soon as I think of the, uh, you know, the cameras, it reminds me of... The camera our... muted? No, not that. Remember uh, the first file, like before, where we got those tapes? And 
Veggie wanted to put the the tape inside the camera. Mm -hmm. Remember first chapter, the modus. Yeah. Uh, and we <laughs> we got those in a disc or a CD, basically. Mm -hmm. And Dom Dom decided to play it on the camera, like first thought. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm a, and Dom Dom clicks on the camera. I was like, why isn't it working? <laughs> 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 I still think about it. It looks in, in my head when we like, uh, and then the text. It's a surveillance camera, like any other surveillance camera. I'm like, hey, key, what does a uh, surveillance camera has to do with CDs? Where is the CD player <laughs> inside I'm gonna, the I'm surveillance play, I'm gonna play camera. the CD on a camera. <laughs> yeah, and you actually, you actually believe that? You know that? Mm hmm. And you, and you act like you're smart <laughs> when you th when you believe that a surveillance camera has a CD player inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Tell <laughs> Good job, Tom Tom. Yeah, good job. Good job. Oh, now you proud of yourself? Mm -hmm. I'm proud. How oh, how are you embarrass of yourself after this story? Because mm, honey makes it sound cute, so I can't be embarrassed. Oh, what's so cute about it? That's how you tease the veggie. Yeah, mwah. Mwah. I tease you. <laughs> but it happened. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I still laugh at, <laughs> about it. <laughs> Yay, veggie's funny. It is funny. Huh? The body in the garden. If they had the key to this room, it can only mean one thing. That was the body of Mukuri Kasaba. And she was the mastermind. And the mastermind is dead? Like really, really dead? It would seem so. Is that the serious man? It's too bad they had to go and die before Master could kill them himself. The mastermind is dead? Can that really be true? Does that mean it's all over? I mean, no, because I'm pretty sure there's still one more chapter left. Because, Wait, I mean, she, that body... Who told you that? Uh, you did? Who told... No, I didn't. No? No. Um, well, I'm assuming there's one more chapter left. Not two? Not two? Not two? I mean, I don't know. I, I just remember that thing that said, like, Oh, good job, you're halfway through the game now. Yeah, yeah, I said that. Halfway. Yeah, man, man. And Dum Dum, if I said that, when did I say that? Um, I don't know. The hell? <laughs> you know, I said sometime, someday, that you're halfway through our game. And Veggie assumes he's ready in on the ending now. Mm hmm. Good job. What well, that makes your sense. You know I mean, that, that body. Whatever happened, they obviously didn't die a natural death. So who was that? But if the mastermind's really dead, dude, that means we can finally get out of this hellhole. We gotta hurry up and find the exit. Come on. No, we have to check this area thoroughly first. Huh? But what? What about the exit, dude? If the mastermind truly is dead, we can leave whenever we decide to. But right now, we need to find out why the Mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. And I'm bothered by the fact that the Mastermind was obviously murdered. Murdered? So. Oh wait, wrong voice. See you later, so too, second huh? Second time. Oops. Second time. Naturally. Let's keep looking at this still image of the corpse. The state of the corpse makes it plain as day. There's absolutely no doubt. The mastermind was murdered. But why, why has it gotta be that way, man? I mean, who could have even done it? That's exactly why I need to figure the investigation out and investigate the purpose and identity of the mastermind. 
Now, do you understand the useless insect? You're bound from talking to Master ever again. When Mastermind's purpose and why they were killed, Isra may very well hold the answer to those questions. After all, the Mastermind must have spent who knows how much time here. Okay then, let's begin our search. It's time to uncover the identity I mean, of the Mastermind. That would make sense, you know why? Mm. Because, remember when we just randomly are like outside somewhere at midnight or something and Monokuma appears? Mm -hmm. So they obviously monitored our boss that Monokuma just knew where to show up where we were. Yeah. Makes sense. Hurry up and find something for Master. Oh, I gotta talk to everybody first. I mean, I wanna know why they make you as much as the next guy, but I also really wanna get out of here. Yeah, we know, you're a pussy. Jeez, I can't believe how many monitors there are. My eyes are flickering as fast as we are. Why was the Mastermind murdered? To figure that out, we need to find out the identity and purpose of the truth of the Mastermind. Um, well, obviously we have Computer. this. There's a bunch of computers all lined up. They look like high-performance PCs. Nothing like the ancient laptop Alter Ego is installed on. They're all on, but they seem to be locked. So what? We can't do anything? Just use your fighting spirit to force your way in. What century are you from? Toko is savage, I love you. <laughs> Yay. That's me. That's hey, me. honey. The mastermind must have been using these to monitor the network and alter ego. You may well be right about that, but there's no point in thinking about it now. You're right. Uh, what about the monitors themselves? There's a really ridiculous number of monitors here. And the mastermind has been using them all to spy on us. It's so long that they have this. Huh? Look at Master go, it's just it's like a feast for the eyes. <laughs> Much is my monthly membership. <laughs> yeah, he just has nothing to say. Um, how do I do the thing where I show all the, the door, things I can examine? The door. Click the door. Oh. This door's kind of creepy. It's got a picture of Monokum on it. Yeah, so you can have him stare at you all day long. I told you it's creepy. <laughs> Look at the inside. The game also finds it creepy. No luck. The door is locked, huh? What if you use like, the key that opens this room? Let's give it a try, just in case. Nope, no good. It won't even fit. Oh. Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Mastermind's dead, right? So nothing's gonna happen to us. Yeah, I guess you're right. I can't stop thinking of that door with Monokuma's picture on it. But worrying about it's not gonna do me any good. I think that's right, the Mastermind's gone, so there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Um, how do I do? Oh yeah, there we go. Um, so what else can I do? Oh my, honey, honey. What's up, BB? The surveillance camera was meant to be inspected. <laughs> oh yeah, right, thank you. There's something showing up on this one. Hey, hey look at next to that TV, dude. Isn't that a TV antenna, man? It is. Just like the one that my grandma uses. It's totally one of those high def antennas, dude. Wait, so if we hook up that antenna, we can watch TV? Huh? This was a TV? Well, well, Saturday morning Hina's here. Uh, are you talking about me? Anyway, if we can watch TV, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on! Ah, uh, yeah, I'll start from the outside world, huh? Alright, later, I imagine you'll be quantum leaping your way to oh, TV no. land where you know it. I mean, I got the reference, but what's he talking about? I don't get him. Oh, 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 oh. What's wrong? <laughs> uh, good news for y'all. You Saturday morning cuties out there. I think I got the TV working. Really? 
Now yeah, all we gotta do is switch it on. And do it. Uh, freaking idiot mastermind. All you gotta need to cut free from your regrets to the outside world. And then you're sitting here watching TV the whole time. Hey, you really thought they'd get away with it. <laughs> watching uh -oh. TV. Uh oh. Uh, huh, this is. Is the sea coming from the surveillance camera monitoring this room, isn't it? Eh, that's weird. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, that's really weird. You're weird. <laughs> weird in every way possible. I'm just, just weird. Super weird. <laughs> You're weird. But Veggie, it's... what's so damn funny now? It's He's roasting him. <laughs> yeah. I would too. But this TV ain't hooked up nothing but the antenna, man. Uh, how's the camera feed? Do you try changing the channel? Uh, okay, I do. Let's see if I try. Yeah, I went through each channel one by one. Boop. On every channel, it was just us. It was a live feed of us standing there in the data center. Well, that's cursed. What the heck? <laughs> Is it broken or something? Uh, it must be some kind of trick to some weird setup. A trick? What kind of trick? I, I'm, not <laughs> <sh> <laughs> I'm not sure, but... Ah! Ah! What? Mm. Uh, what? <laughs> Been a while, you freaking bastards! Monokuma! No! Oh, you're supposed to be dead! Nah, me dead! Don't be freaking stupid! Hey, you're acting kinda strange. Something seems different. I love the idea that he's just perfectly cool with us being in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of yeah. course I'm different! He doesn't have Evolution's perfectly natural. After all, I've been hibernating for two years already! Not even, it's been like half a day at most. How are you alive again? Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> the look on your faces right now is sublime. That's what I wanted to see. The moment you went from hope to despair. Don't tell me pretend to be dead all for this moment. Why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who should pretend to be dead when you see a bear. I mean, that's totally laughable. Makes me laugh. I'm gonna laugh now! <laughs> and that's that! Well, it's almost time to cut off your past so full of hope and begin to spare the future ahead of you. I want you all to have way more fun in this killing game. You can't be serious, we have to keep going. Nah, we are you supposed to get out of here, dude? Get out of here? Are you still obsessed with getting out of here? How do you not get it? There is no use of getting out of here. And besides, the life isn't all bad, you know. I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life, no matter where you are. Are you serious? This place is the worst. If it's the worst, then does does that mean you're in despair? <laughs> Ugh, I'm pooped from all that laughing. I guess I'll just get to the point now. The point? You guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed. That TV is an essential part of your school life here. I knew it was hiding a secret of some kind. That connected the antenna, so why is it just showing us the surveillance feed? <laughs> Look how attentive they are now. Well then, I'm gonna let you in on a blood-gushing secret and tell you all about it. The TV is absolutely without a doubt displaying the signal coming in on the antenna. Well, what does that mean? Displaying the signal? It's just us, standing here. Uh, you're so stupid, don't you get it? Fine, I'll just tell you. The Killing Game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. What? This Killing Game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. No matter how many times he says it, I don't know what it's supposed to mean. I mean, even if I understood the words, I'm not sure I understand the deeper meaning. 
What? Broadcast live to the entire world? What kind of bad joke is this? It can't be. Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? The care feeds being broadcast? No way, that's impossible, man. Oh, that kind of overconfidence is a major weakness in your crisis management system, you know that? All you need is one weird trick I found, and hijacking the airwaves is easy mode. Are you being serious right now? Of course! Are you serious right now? I heard a kind of creaking. But the sound was coming from my own mind. Like a boat tossing in the ocean, my mind had begun to croak and groan. Everything has a meaning, you know. All those hints I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits about the school's mysteries. Even me luring you here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all for my captive audience, to show them true despair like they'd never seen before. I became the director of a despair-based production. This is the ultimate reality show, the best in despair entertainment. It's like Hell's Kitchen. I actually watched Hell's Kitchen on Monster Chef. Oh, good for you, so. pumpkin. Yay, what's up? Hmm, I just wanted to make that reference. Very cute. Yay. You're lying. If this was on TV, the police and everyone else would be going crazy. Yeah, there's no way they wouldn't have tried to come and rescue us, man. What if they already did? Huh? But then again, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at their TV to try and warn you, but who would actually come here to help? Don't you think that's possible? I don't really personally, though, so whatever. I mean, theoretically, if it happened there, well, it would have been banned and restricted everywhere mm -hmm. because it's illegal. So, mm -hmm. yes. Yep. <laughs> I have to take control of all communications like that. You'd need an astronomical amount of resources. Yep. So how could things have come this far? Well, that's a secret. There's something you'll need to do first, remember? What? Yeah, duh. There's the little business of... Ding dong ding dong. Yeah. That body has been discovered. Hey, look, it's my TV show. I'm on TV, guys. Mom, I'm I on like TV. I did better. Yay, TV did that. good. Guys, I'm on TV! Look how cool I am! Huh? A body has been discovered! <laughs> <laughs> what did you do it? A body has been discovered! A body has been discovered! <laughs> yeah, go on. Yeah. Class trial? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave the next monokuma file shorts. right here. Two shorts. Aw, uh, oopsie. Also, it's... <laughs> yeah, like that. Thank you, Evie. I'll leave the next you monokuma want... file right here. Everyone give it all you got, okay? Okay, things are gonna get pretty crazy from here on out, so you're in a heck of a ride. I can't wait. I can't wait. I agree. This this trial is actually intense. <laughs> <laughs> weird. It's also a weird one because we don't even know who the victim is. And then he was gone. Yeah, that's the, the that's the that's the hard part, though. So. Reality was incomprehensible. The truth hopelessly was out of reach. All we were left with was despair. We stood there, not for I don't know how long, frozen in place. Couldn't think. Took everything I just had to keep myself standing upright. I understand any of this. What's despair entertainment and how is he still alive, dude? We thought that finally, finally we could get out of here. And plus, what did he say about the class trial? Well, that's past obvious. The class trial is the class trial. But it means that at this point we have to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out who killed Kyoko. What? What are you talking about? I thought Mukarika Sapa was the one who died, dude. The victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fulfills that condition. And if Markuma's still alive and active, that means that the mastermind, Mukarika Sapa, isn't dead. 
So naturally the body can't belong to her. So it must be Kyoko. Wait, wait, wait. What? Didn't they confirm that Monokuma doesn't have a remote? I think so. So why does the massive mind have to be alive to for Monokuma to work? Hmm. Good question. There's no other possibility. <laughs> the body is Kyoko's? Kyoko's been murdered? That's not possible. Because I don't know anything about her yet. I don't even know who she really is. I'll have it end like this. Oh, so you saw her hair? Yeah. It was light. Oh, and it's not like purple. It. It's bright. I refuse to believe it. Whether you like believe blonde. it or not doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. If you refuse to believe, it's your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. Myself? Anyway, we better begin. But, if we're gonna have a class trial, then that means a killer. Correct. There must be someone participating in our school life. Wait, so you're I saying think... one of us killed Kyoko, dude? Well, that's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Nah, but you just said... I don't have time to explain now. There's a variable amount of issues we need to confirm. So I'm going to begin my research. If you value your lives, you'll put everything you have into this. That's how this game works, after all. Beep boop. Hey y'all, what's this fucking rock music? <laughs> well, I better start by checking out the Monokuma file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went through completely through the body. They would also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. So even the Monokuma oh. file doesn't tell us who the victim actually was. Oh. Hmm? But, but you heard that? Heard what? They had one several days old, that's very important. That is weird. The identified body, could it really be Kyoko? Or... I have no choice. I have to investigate. I have to uncover the truth for myself. No matter what, I have to find out what happened, or we're all dead. I need to go back to the scene of the crime, back to the garden. I like, I like, whoever decided to just put like a fucking guitar solo over this song is a genius. Okay, Why is it a genius now? Because it's amazing. <laughs> no, I prefer original in my opinion. Okay. Okay, time to get started. I need to check anywhere that may be important from one end to the other. I just need to do what I always do. Well, what about this? There's a knife. There's a knife on the ground. Is this... Yee. Must be the knife that was stuck in the body before it exploded. The force of the explosion must have thrown it over here. The Monokuma file said the knife went all the way through the body from front to back. Does that mean this knife is what caused the fatal injury? Either way, this knife looks really familiar. Hmm, is this... Oh yeah. That's it. It's the knife the person was holding. This is getting really weird. Here are just two strange coincidences. Whatever the person in the mask was that attacked me last night, they were holding that knife. And that same knife was used to stab at the same masked attacker was found in here. So maybe this masked person got stabbed because... Okay, you don't need to show the same picture like ten times. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I love this game so not much. <laughs> it's like the the like previously with the black background and random hearts too. Yeah. <laughs> when they attacked but this is, I was in a kind of trance. This is, this maybe is even funny. The knife. And then maybe I Veggie's flashbacks. Yeah, Veggie flashback with me staring at the black background. Same, same image. Same and if this is really Kyoko, I mean Kyoko's the one that attacked me. But why the mask? I just don't know. I don't remember anything clearly from last night. Oh, don't worry. No, it's gonna be no, a flashback. Can't be. There's no way. 
Knife at the crime scene. What the body itself? Mm, if I check the body more thoroughly, maybe I'll find out if it's actually Hyoko or not. Well, the thing that really bothers me is... What's with the hand? Oh, you should check uh, that. Something weird about the body's fingernails. Oh, these are fake nails. They're really long. They seem like they'd get in the way of normal activity. And there's also like a Why do... tattoo as well. Why do all people say that? Even Betty, when I have fake nails, like, oh, they're so long. And yeah, then you won't do anything. I'm like, I do. I don't know what you mean. There's also something on her back, the back of her hand. This is a tattoo. It got burned, so I can't make the whole thing out, but it looks like a picture of a dog or something. I've never seen anything like it before. Tattoo on right hand has been added. Uh, the upper half of the body got set on fire and exploded, so it's totally blackened. <laughs> like the blackened. Also, the top half of the body so wet. Oh yeah, we duh, we put it out with the water. That's because it got set on fire and I threw water onto it. Wow, you don't say. Since I only threw water on the part that was, that was on fire, the top half, the bottom half is still dry. In other words, there's nothing strange about the top half being wet. There isn't, right? Nice. Exploded body analysis. <laughs> I love that. The lower half of the body didn't get wet at all. After the body blew up, the top half got set on fire. So I dumped a bucket of water on it. It explains why the bottom half isn't wet. There's nothing strange about that, right? Um... Is there anything else I can examine? Oh, the, the hole in the chest, I guess? The white jacket the victim was wearing got totally burnt up. There's only one piece left. I think that's it, right? Yeah. I mean, if it says you have to examine more, it'll say like, Oh, I haven't examined everything yet. These look like fragments of something. They're all burnt, so I can't really be sure, but... I feel like I've seen something like it before. But where? Wait, was it there? I'll have to double check that later. Fragments near dead body have been added. Okay, maybe we should check out the shed again? Oh. Uh, no, I wasn't trying to look at that, I was trying to go in the shed. I know there were some chickens in the chicken coop. Ooh, four chickens? What's going on, Mikoto? Oh, I'm glad you're here. Listen, do you remember how many chickens were there were in here? Of course. There are precisely five. Yeah, right? Uh, what's wrong? There's only four chickens here now. We're one short. Eh? Uh, eh? Uh. That's so weird. I wonder when that when they disappeared. Great reaction. Great reaction. Thank you. <laughs> I was down here just before nighttime last night, and there are definitely five chickens then. What are we gonna do? Going from five to four is gonna have an impact on the structure of the world. It's a little like a jigsaw puzzle. If even one single piece disappears, the entire world will remain unfinished. I did my best to ignore him and focus on the problem. Why did one of the chickens disappear? Could it be related to the case? Nice chicken. Uh, what about this? This is the panel that controls the sprinklers. And that's the same. Hold on. So the sprinklers turn on at 7.30 each morning, right? Then if the body was here before then, the sprinkler should have gone it wet. Which would mean the murder must have taken place... Oh, I thought it was... Before <laughs> or after. After 7.30, right? Or before. Maybe. I'm gonna take a drink. Probably after, though. That's what I'm thinking. But you're so damn slow, though. I like, not only do you, don't you skip so damn slowly, but you also read slow. I don't know what's up with you today. That sweetie. Hmm? I mean, I just want to take my time, baby. Oh, why? That's more comfy that way. 
Well, I'm glad you're not in a hurry, but that's silly, you know? <laughs> Instead of veggie speed running everything for no reason and then being stuck on one thing for 10 minutes. Yeah, Bun Bun. Listen, Makoto. Do you remember how the body looks, you know, before it blew up? Uh, I remember right. I was wearing some kind of mask and a big white coat. And also, there was a knife sticking out of the stomach and the area around it was stained with blood. Apparently, the wound had stopped bleeding, but the blood on the body was still wet. Byakuya said not to touch it to avoid getting all bloody. But for how much blood there was on the body, I didn't see any on the ground around it. Well, thanks, that was a big help. Now that you explain it, I totally remember how it looked. Well, having to talk about it like that helped me remember a lot better too. So thank you too. Okay. So who does that belong to you belong to? Whatever it is, I'm not gonna look. I don't wanna think anymore. <laughs> okay, good to know you have nothing to add. It's eleven o'clock right now. Okay, and? And, uh, I, I was just thinking about when we first found the body. When the body was found, huh? I should look back at what I did this morning to help me remember when that was. Monokuma's announcement woke me up at a 7 as usual, and I headed for the dining hall pretty soon. Once I got there, I met up with Hina, and I was right around 7.30. Then I headed Ooh, to the gym, so where everyone else was waiting. Next, Toko went to get the pickaxe, and that's when she found the body. What time was it then? Now then, Toko, what Wait, time so is Toko it? Wait, so Toko found the body. It's 9 o'clock. Okay, so an hour and a half past the sprinklers. That's right. It had to have been around 9 o'clock. Ah, uh, now you mention it. I think you're right, dude. So I think we can say for sure that the body was found at 9 a.m. Okay, my job's done. That's a pretty small job. <laughs> when the body was found. Good timing, Makoto. I wanted to talk to you. What do you want to talk about? I'd like to hear about your alibi. Alibi? Correct. I'd love to hear where you were after the night time began last night. Uh, well, I was sick, so I was asleep all night. Why are you asking about that now? And what's night time got to do with it? Isn't obvious. This murder took place after nighttime. How can you know that for sure? Because just after the nighttime began, I came to the garden. I was going around looking for everyone so I could talk to them about Monokuma. Hiro has been spending most of his time in the garden the last few days, so I figured he'd be here. And I can confirm that when I arrived last night, there was no body here. So the murder could have only taken place at some point during night time, after I left the garden. However, Toko, Hiro, and Hina and I were in the gym together the entire la night last night. What? Once I found Hiro in the garden, we immediately went to Toko and Hina's rooms to get them. At that point, we all went to the gym and began dismantling Monokuma. As a precaution, we made sure not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. In other words, all four of us have an airtight alibi. The only ones who don't have alibis are me and Kyoko. And if the victim really is Kyoko, then I'm the only one without an alibi? Also, when we went to get Hina and Toko, we stopped by your room as well. But you never came to the door, so where precisely were you? I'm telling the truth, I was in my room, but I was dead asleep. I had a fever, so that's hardly an alibi. I know. So, what now? You seem to be quite the disadvantage here. I'm the only one without an alibi. That's really bad, isn't it? Nice. You, don't you, got, you got his account. Okay, uh, what about this shed back here? Uh, this room's really dusty. Is this a tarp? Was there a tarp in here before? 
probably look into that. Top is wet and covered with mud and grime. But the underside, it's totally clean, completely dry. One side of the tarp is wet and dirty. Something about that bothers me. That's the one thing in here that concerns me. Okay, I guess that's all that I need to look at in there. I think I've checked everything I need to in this area, but I'm not done yet. There are other areas I need to check. Specifically that fragment I found before. There's somewhere I need to go in order to confirm my suspicions. And I still need to find out more about Kyoko. Is that corpse really Kyoko? If that's true... Betty, your favorite picture <laughs> came back. I told you it's gonna come back. This is this, Betty needs honestly, that flashback. Honestly, this might as well be the thumbnail. <laughs> how it often will it be, pops up. It will be the thumbnail. I can find out more about her. Maybe I can answer that question. Kyoko is never the kind of person to talk about herself all that much. Maybe if I can get into her room, I'll be able to find out more. But the key to her room... Oh, simply limit your op your options. Oh. Wow, thank god he has her key. It's plot, am I right? Hey, Byakuya? Yeah. If you do come up with an alibi, I'd be happy to hear it later at the class trial. Oh, no, it's not about that. You have the key to Kyoko's room, right? I was hoping I could borrow it. I'm afraid I can't take that risk. You're the prime suspect after all. Well then, fucking come with me then. Of course, if I were to go with you, that would be a different story. Then will you go with me? Sorry, I have my own agenda to take care of. Find me again later and we'll see. Fuck. Depending on my mood, I may go with you, or I may not. Come back later, huh? Okay then, in the meantime, I should look around somewhere else. Maybe I should check out that one area. Mm, what, that bloody classroom? That's cool. not it. This one. I'm going to assume we're talking about this room. Veggie! Surveillance mm, camera. I got money. Surveillance camera. Yes, thank you, honey. Uh. Okay, somebody tells me this is not the right room I'm supposed to be in. Okay, well, he is letting me leave this room, so it's clearly not important. Um, what about the the soccer room? Dojo. Yeah, the dojo. Hmm. Okay, it's not this room either. Um, so that's the garden entrance. Is there anything else that I should know about? Um... The student rooms? Or probably the classrooms aren't that important, right? It's not really there's never really anything in here. Yeah. Okay, uh can you give me a hint, honey? Hold on. What floor is it on? Hold on. Okay. I saw it somewhere. Let's try fourth floor. Into this room. Uh. Uh. I think you have to go to the dojo room. I do. It wasn't saying anything interesting in that room. A set of titanium arrows was found in a dojo locker. There appear to be ten in total. Dojo locker, huh? Okay. I 
mean, I was wondering about those lockers, but I never did anything with it when we first came here. Uh, when lockers here, I don't see anything interesting that might be connected to the case. Honey, why did it lie to me? This is that. Oh, Mikado says there's nothing interesting here. Mm -hmm. Maybe I gotta talk to someone else. something and I'm not sure where to get it. Like would it be that Tycoon or something? Or would it be that uh, mastermind area? The data room? Wait. Remember that one room that uh hold on. That's uh you and Kyoko snuck in at night? Um, what, the bathhouse? Not the bathhouse. There's this room somewhere that you guys snuck in or something. Is it the one in the um, bathroom? No! Um... that room. Mm. There's the headmaster's room. Hmm. Well, what else is there? There's the classrooms. There's the chemistry lab. Oh yeah, right. Everything is back to normal. Just like with Saika and Taka, Monokuma is responsible, I'm sure. It might be this room. Sakura ended her life by drinking the poison she got from here. It's all the mastermind's fault. Whoever they are, I can never forgive them. left in there. So where do I go? Can I go in the bathroom? Wait, what? That's weird. Well, you gotta talk to Monokuma for sure. But where is Monokuma? And you gotta find a piece of paper. That's what I'm trying to figure out, Thomas. <clears throat> Can I go on the door yet? Yeah, try. This creepy door is a picture of Monokuma. What could be inside? Mm. There's a really ridiculous number of monitors here. Oh, the laptop I can These computers are way nicer than the ones Alter Ego is stored on. the TV. Yep, nothing I can examine in here. Okay, let me look up a map. Maybe the map will tell me where I need to go. Mm, it's 
says I'm supposed to go to the gym. What, the Monokuma, the broken Monokuma? Monokuma's laying dismantled on the floor, but I figured it wouldn't be here. And that bomb went missing. There's no doubt about that. The fragments I found in the garden. Oh, they're from the broken Monokuma. Okay, I've checked everything else I can think of. All that's left now is Kyoko's room. Okay, okay. We can go back to well, the yeah, garden now. I was gonna say the rest are mainly about Kyoko from Kyoko's room. So I was waiting for other. But I know, I don't know what's with the dojo room though. There is stuff in the dojo room. Maybe that's later then. Uh, yeah. You think you can go soon, Byakuya? You wanted to go check out Kyoko's room, right? Very well, let's go. Ah, wait for me. Byakuya walked out without a second glance. Ah, finally. Okay, let me just get rid of the little I little map thing. Here we go. Well then, here we go. Byakuya took out the key and slid into the keyhole, and then... And it's open. Looks like it, thanks. Veggie going into my room. Ooh, based Veggie. So this is Kyoko's room. Looks pretty similar to mine, actually. No, look, look at the table. Look at the table. I know, I know. She might have no, certain hanging out the drive. Must. I don't know. I wanted to talk to Byakuya first. You wanted to come here, right? So what is it you're looking for? Nothing in particular, I just thought we might find some kind of clue in here. Clue that might help us understand Kyoko. You can't be serious. That's why you made me take the time out of my search to come here. Sorry. Regardless, if you plan on poking around at random, you're doomed no matter how much time you take. Surely you have something more concrete. Something to give us some sort of discretion here. More concrete. Oh, I know. I have it here somewhere. Found it. What's in the envelope? Kyoko gave it to me. She said if something ever happened, I should open it. Well, something has certainly happened, so open it. Okay. That'll be an envelope that looks inside. Inside with oh, a there. single piece that's of paper. That's probably it. And that's probably it. Under the sheets? That's all that was in there? Yeah, it looks like it. Under the sheets, what could it be? Okay, we'll look under the sheets in a sec. There's something on the table. It's a woodblock decoration. Oh, there it is. There's the dojo one. Six. What's that? What purpose does it serve? I think it's probably a key. It's for the dojo. Oh, okay. I guess you jumped ahead a little bit, huh? <laughs> Me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I oh, that's okay. I have had. <laughs> The lockers at those really traditional public bathhouses use them for their lockers. Ooh, I wouldn't know. I've never gone to a public bathhouse. That doesn't really surprise me. It's hard to picture Byakuya doing something like that. But if it is a key, I think I might know what it unlocks. Really? What? Unless I'm mistaken. I'm pretty sure I saw something in that dojo that this might go to. The dojo? Okay, let's look okay, on the sheets then. Could something be hiding under the bed sheets? Pardon me, didn't expect to find anything, but as I lifted up the sheets. What's this? I found a crumpled up piece of paper. Mukuri Kasada. Oh, there it is. Class number 78 student registry. It appears to be Mukuri Kasaba's profile. Yeah, it looks like it. It's probably the other thing Kyoko stole when she snuck into the headmaster's room. Along with the key. Yeah, see, th this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh. This must be the blank that Monokuma was talking about. Yoko said a death without meaning was unappealing, and this is what she left behind. 
I don't have time for your sentimental indulgences. Hurry up and finish your search. Okay. I made an effort to pull myself together and look down at the profile sheet. Mm. The ultimate soldier. The ultimate soldier. Although small, Although for, small her age. for her age. Oh, sorry. Edgy, I'm the dumb, stupid fucking. All right, the thank fuck you, Kitty. I'm meanie. Pat Pat. Meanie. I'm no meanie. meanie. Pat Pat. Meanie. Squishies. Um, why do that? Because you're like a little marshmallow. I'm sorry. Kitty, honey. Yeah? You're very lovely. Okay. I'm sorry though. I am always the narrator and Dum Dum always steals my life. <laughs> yeah, oops, my All bad. the damn time. All the time you steal my sorry, life. Sorry, love. You're so mean. I'll forgive you though. Uh, okay, um... Although small for her age, she was a military specialist trained in every weapons type imaginable. She showed an interest in the military from childhood and soon found herself completely absorbed in it. Oh, you know who he, who she reminds me of? I you can't mm. say the name though. You know who. Mm. Mm. The army guy from my family. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you know him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. He also dreamed to become uh, uh, someone from the military. From since childhood. I see, Kitty. Yeah. In elementary school, she won the survival game tournament and began writing for military magazines. It's because before entering middle school, she, while well, she and her uh, uh, family were on vacation in Europe, disappeared to Europe. Oops, yeah. The story of a young Japanese girl being kidnapped quickly took over Japanese media outlets. An intense international investigation put up no information and she was never found. However, she reappeared in Japan three years later, alone and completely unannounced. She revealed that she had joined a mercenary group known as Fenrir for those three years. She insisted that she hadn't been kidnapped, that she'd received battle training of her own by voltation, volition or something. However, she never revealed why she decided to return home when she did. Well, that's pretty important. Oh, you don't say dum dum. Yeah. The ultimate soldier, a mercenary group. This doesn't feel real. The world I grew up in is like a completely different dimension. It's like one's non-fiction, the other's sci-fi. There's no way to even compare these two. That's how different this is. That was how I saw things, just an ordinary person, but then... I never imagined I would hear the name Fenrir in a place like this. Hi, huh, you recognize it? The Fenrir Mercenary Corps is a collection of battle-crazed warmongers. But they do have their uses, and they always get the job done. That's worth remembering. This is all part of a world totally removed from the one I live in. I have to say, I'm intrigued. Every rumor I've heard says that Fenrir's already... Whoa! I feel like our hero is becoming a bit player, and a bit player is becoming our hero. Ah, it's you. Hmm, what have you got there in your pretty little hand there? Uh-oh, you found their profile! Uh, so what if we did? Don't freak out on me, I'm not gonna hold it against you or anything. In that case, in case you're wondering, I don't hold it against Kyoko either, even though she stole it and hid it. After all, there's no rule against stealing, is there? But who I can't forgive is Miss Ogami who broke the rules and busted into the headmaster's room. Maybe I'll drag the corpse out here and slice it up and devour it. There's our omnivorous, you know. Uh, a real violation is really so unforgivable. You're quite adamant about those regulations of yours. Of course I am. A proper school life is built on the dedication, organizing, organization, and order. Which is why even I, as the school headmaster, have to follow the regulations myself. 
Oh, so you're saying you have to follow your own rules as well? Absolutely! I can't have you complaining about how unfair it is now, can I? In fact, on the subject of fairness, would you like to know something interesting? Interesting? It's about the one writing all the rules. They're actually... one of the participants in this killing game. I don't think I actually ever told you how many participants there were, did I? I was thinking I should probably clarify that. Oh, really? When you all first got together in the main hallway back then, there were 15 people there, right? I think that first meeting may have led to a little misunderstanding among you all. A misunderstanding? Are you saying... That's right, there weren't actually 15 of you. The total number of students taking part in this killing game was actually 16. 16? Then... Oh yeah, yeah, we've seen this like 10 times, bro. No, Veggie, the best part is the guy with the mask on the... Yeah, like, the guy with the mask. The 16th student, Kukuri Kasaba. She's part of the school of life? So the one making all the regulations is... Why? Hmm, did you say something? Why are you telling us this? Ah, uh, well, because... Like I told you, this killing game is desperately popular. You wouldn't believe the ratings. And since we got so many viewers now, I wanted to make sure everyone was on the same page. I don't want to wake up to a hurricane of complaints and hate mail, you know. Makes sense? You're very popular. <laughs> okay, that's all you get for now. Well, actually, I do have some revenge to get, so I have an extra bonus for you. Revenge? I want to get back at the sneaky little Miss Kiri Gary, so I'm going to share a little secret with you. Seriously? You know how she wears those stupid gloves day in and day out all the time? Oh no, not well, the gloves. Don't tell anyone I told you, but she wears them to cover a bunch of hideous scars that she doesn't want anyone to see. What? <laughs> okay, now that's all you get. <laughs> I got his account now, nice. Yeah, I was gonna I gonna say I need to talk with Marakuma. That's one of them. Oh, well, we did that. Kyoko wears those gloves to cover a bunch of scars? Oh, that was rude Wait, to say. Wait, so on the back of her hand... A tattoo. Wait, but no. Mama Kuma specifically said they were scars, right? And that's why Kyoko wears those gloves, to hide the scars. Ah, she wears gloves because she deals with dead bodies and stuff. That's two. Which means... That too, though. Yeah, there's fake nails on the corpse. Are you thinking about Kyoko again? Huh? Forget about her. What matters right now is uncovering Monokuma's trap. His trap? God must have really hated you to make you so dull. Don't you remember what Monokuma just told us? He said there were 16 students, right? Which means Mukuro was a student here. Obviously, Monokuma was trying to tell us that Mukuru is the one creating the rules in the game. But why would he tell us this? And why now? Uh, he said he wanted to make things clear so there wouldn't be any complaints later. But the mere fact that he said that proves that Mukuru is connected to this case. That's why Monokuma revealed the existence of a 16th student. He needs to make our investigation fair. Mukuru is related to the case? Perhaps she's the one who killed Kyoko. What? Or the one who freaking died. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh, I'm not taking a little drink. I mean... Let me just say something. As someone who wears gloves, it's really, really hard to wear gloves with fake nails. I'm just saying. <laughs> so that would mean that, uh, it would be kind of inconvenient for Kyoko if she did wear those. Yeah. That'd explain why we'd have to have a class trial, wouldn't it? If she's a student and she killed someone, that would make her part of the school killing game. 
Mukuro is the killer? She killed Kyoko? Anyone should be able to come to that conclusion, don't you think? In fact, that's exactly what I thought when the investigation first began. But based on what Monokuma told us, I've changed my mind. Mukuro Ikasawa isn't the culprit. Huh? What makes you say that? We thought Mukuro, the ultimate despair, was the mastermind's true identity. But if that's true, Monokuma's behavior makes no sense. Why would the mastermind go out of their way to reveal themselves to us? That's a good that point. Me? Mukuro giving us information that would raise questions about her would be bold, to say the least. It makes more sense to assume that she isn't the culprit. So that's the trap. They want us to suspect Mukuro and come to the wrong conclusion. That's what makes sense to me. Well, you say, it definitely seems possible. But if that's really true, if she isn't the killer, then who is? Well then, I believe our work is finished. Cue the guitars again. Let's move on. I'm sure there are other places in need of investigation. The dojo. Yeah. I should find out if that key and the dojo really are connected. Well, are you coming? Oh nice, it just takes me there. I'm gonna have to go there myself. Mm. Hurry up and check the locker. That's what we're here for after all. Okay, now the locker is actually making sense. There are wooden lockers here. They use one block keys, just like at those super traditional public bathhouses. It looks like the key we found in Kyoko's room really does go to one of these. Makoto, do you see the locker falls to the right? That's the only one that doesn't have a key in it at the moment. You understand what that means, right? I should probably use the key we found in that locker, right? Well, just try it. Okay. I took out the wood block key and inserted into the lock there's metal lock and the lock would easily took the key and it opened. Whoa, look at all these arrows. There are arrows in here. It looks like 10 arrows in total. They look like they're made of titanium, which means they're quite strong despite how thin they are. Of course, without a bow, they're nothing but strong little sticks. Strong sticks. That strong sticks have been added to the truth bullet section. Oh, there's something else inside the locker. It's a wired up ball of duct tape. I wonder what this is used for. Is that a blood stain? If it is, that means it must surely be related to the case. Is duct tape related to the case somehow? How could it be possibly involved? Bloody duct tape. Oh, that's so suspicious. Hmm. I think that's all the locker has to offer for now. Something wrong? It's very odd, don't you think? The locker was hiding items that were clearly related to the case. But how did the key to the locker wind up in the victim's room? Or perhaps... Yakia? Forget it. Come on, we need to continue on the next location. Huh, what next location? There's still something we need to look into. We need to find more research on Fenrir. Fenrir? You mean the mercenary group that Mooper was a part of? But how are we supposed to find out about that? Isn't it obvious? Where in this school would you go to do research on something? Research? Are you talking about the Archive? That's right, the Archive has all kinds of info that general public doesn't have access to. We only have so much time before the trial begins, let's hurry. It's been a while since we've been here. I believe there was a file relayed to Fenmir somewhere over there. He obviously made all the archive like the back of his hand and went straight for the shelf in the back. Ah, oh, here we go. Could we return the file in hand? Take a look at this. Uh, I have no idea what it says. What language is this? Oh wait, that fucking dog thing is on there. How did you make it all the way to high school without learning a single word of French? Uh, I'm pretty sure most high schoolers can't speak French. Well, whatever. I'll read it for you, but I expect you would pay your debt a hundred times over. A hundred times? Isn't that kind of extreme? 
<laughs> what is this fucking Dutch angle? <laughs> Fanmir is an elite fighting unit based out of the Middle East. Unlike military contractors, they are fierce, fierce group of soldiers who engage in direct combat. They claim that a single member is equivalent to an entire company of regular soldiers. Just like Fenrir, the Wolf of Ragnarok, their mere presence is enough to strike fear into any enemy. They have been involved in countless military battles and operations, most of which are highly classified. However, some time ago, they completely ceased all activity. At present, their continued existence cannot be confirmed. There are unconfirmed reports that the key members of the group were all neutralized. Rumors indicate they were killed to keep them from revealing this many state secrets they required. Some, however, believe there was a mounting internal tension within the group, and they simply imploded. What is it? This all sounds like some kind of alternate reality. Well, it isn't. This is our reality, the only reality. These people are a part of our world. Their battlefields aren't much different from our lives here. An unpredictable, unimaginable world. That's what all makes it so exciting. Exciting definitely isn't the word I'd use. So, did anything jump out at you? This may be your last opportunity to learn about Fenrir. Well, now you mention it. The report said something about where the name Fenrir comes from, right? That's right. It said Fenrir is the Wolf of Ragnarok. Speaking of which, would you like to know something interesting related to that? To show that they're a member of the team, each soldier that joins the squad would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. Well, that basically confirms that the victim is Mukuro Ikasaba. What? They got a tattoo of Fenrir? Could that mean... Ding dong! Oh, geez, it's like an earthquake in here or something. Time is utterly silent and yet it constantly assaults us. Organisms, the earth, natural phenomena. It damages us little by little until the end. You should really think about that. Anyways, it's time to begin the class trial. Wow, that was fucking fast. You guys like speed run that shit. So please meet me up in the usual spot. <laughs> See you later. Oh, then the time has come and so have I. All we can do now is try to uncover the truth during the class trial. It would seem that way. Let's go. Oh, that was like the fastest investigation ever, huh? Ah, uh, well, Yaki and Koda showed up together. Honey. Honey, wakey wakey. Good morning. Okay, well, Honey is not responding, so I'm going to save the game here. Okay, sorry. Yep. The heck? Have you been to be? You just disappeared without worries. We were investigating, of course. How could you not figure that out by this point? I'm not gonna I'm tired. Not for you guys to go off together. Just two of you. Ooh, someone's jealous. What? Are you jealous? Ah, uh, are you making up some kind of creepy fantasy for yourself, man? Stop talking and brace yourselves. She'll be here any second. Any second? Show up at any time. When I imagined what was about to happen, I immediately tensed up and prepared myself. But we stood there for five full minutes waiting for something weird to happen. Then five minutes became ten. <sighs> What's going on here? Why hasn't Monokuma shown up yet? Uh, maybe he died again. What should we do? Should we keep waiting here or? Oh, or what? Ah, uh, Jesus. <laughs> Did I scare you? I demand an explanation. Why'd you waste my time and make me wait like that? 
What? I made you wait? You got it all backwards. You're the ones making me wait. Huh? I'm waiting for everyone to arrive. We that's, can't start till everyone's typical, here now, can we? That's our typical talk. <laughs> it's like, oh, Arnie, you're like, two minutes late. Oh, like, bitchy, you, you, said, you, you said one second. You were two minutes mm -hmm. late. Yeah. I was like, thank you, where, where are you at? I was like, I've been waiting for you. No, I'm waiting for you. And we both wait for each other. And, um, yeah, that's happened before. <laughs> too many times, dumb dumb. What are you talking about? Everyone is here. We've all been waiting for you. <laughs> Sorry, but you're wrong. But I've been waiting for ten minutes now. So it's okay if I punish the one making us all wait, right? If we all agree it's a violation, I'll arrange a punishment right now. That's probably Kyoko. Uh, yeah, if it's me you're waiting for, I'm here. We heard that voice, we all spun around to look. I'm here, and no rules has been broken. Yeah, true, there is no rule about being late to the class trial. Kyoko! Kyoko, you're still alive! N no, but that's a ghost, dude. Stop talking. If you want to fight, do it at the class trial. You need to save some off some of the fun for later, right? But is it okay that there's no penalty for being late? I made it here just fine. What school regulation did I violate? Am I wrong? You're so selfish, so spoiled. You're right. There's no penalty officially, but I bet you'll be sorry later. No, I'll make sure you're sorry later. Anyway, hustle your butts onto that elevator. I'll be just one step ahead of you. Why can't Monokuma ride the elevator with us? When Monokuma was gone, because we all rushed to Kyoko. <laughs> well, you know, he'll keep Awkward. us company. Kyoko. Awkward. So you really didn't die? Of course I didn't die. Thank god, I'm so glad you're okay. I mean, she wouldn't die that easily. Obviously. Perhaps, but that's not necessarily a good thing for us. Huh? EJ, now we gotta deal with the ghost. Don't you stop talking. Come on, let's just go. Whatever we need to discuss, we can do it during the trial. Without ever looking directly at Kyokyo, Byakuya stepped into the elevator. Master, away from me. Hey Kyle, he knows what might happen to us if we take too long. I'll be happy when this trail is all over. Well, that's Cap. One after another, everyone piled in the elevator. But I... I couldn't even help myself. I had to talk with Kyoko before the trial started. Okay, well, we're gonna keep everybody waiting anyways, then. Hey, girl, how you doing? Listen, before we get started, I have to ask you. Where have you been this whole time? You used that key of yours to go somewhere, didn't you? So... I went to investigate the second floor of the dorms. Oh, she had the, the door. She had the key to like all the doors, I'm guessing. The second floor? There aren't any monitors or cameras there, so I was able to avoid Malakuma completely. Of course, I also missed his announcement because of that. Oh. I had no idea what he had been discovered. And what did you find out? Just now. I finished my search and came back down, just in time to hear the class trial announcement. I took some time to go over the crime scene first. I can't go to a trial completely on the form, can I? So that's why you're late. I'm sorry I kept you all waiting. But if you were on the second floor of the dorms, then that's what the key you found goes to? 
actually, to be precise, not quite. I need another Pillow Secret tool, which can open any lock in the school. Oh nice, he has a master key. What? Oh. Surprised that's gonna be part of our truth bullets. Hey, what are you two doing? Hurry up before we get in trouble with Malakuma. We can't go over all the details after we get through the trial, okay, my fellow? Oh nice, I got something to look forward to now. Right now, I just want to focus on surviving my first situation. Because this is probably the single most crucial moment so far for me. For her? That's a strange way to put it. Yeah, because fun fact, there's a bad ending to this trial. Wait, you can get a you can get a bad ending? Yep. Oh, guess I gotta get the good ending then, huh? No, you, you haven't got to the trial done then. Oh. The class trial is important for everyone, right? So why would she say it's a crucial moment for her? Well, if that's all. Seeming unconcerned, Kyoko made her way for the elevator. I'm just overthinking what she said, right? Yup, time to go on the elevator. Being the last one left, I stepped into the elevator. It was very empty in this elevator. And the door oh. slid shut. Oh god, it's so empty. This time the clunking was loud enough to hurt my ears, and the dread began to consume me once again. I can't imagine ever getting used to the mental pressure that comes with preparing for an execution. In that dusky darkness, nobody said a word. We just stood there silent and still. Yeah, that's why we need Monokuma here, so we can like say some funny witty but things. You know. Oh. It's gonna be awkward to you, you though. But it's, no all, one's but that. it's already awkward, though. After yeah, you're gonna be worse with him. The door is open without warning. A dazzling light penetrated every depth of my eyes. But it wasn't the illuminating light of hope. Oh god, my eyes. It was the blinding light of despair. Jesus Christ, what is this eye strain background? That's, <laughs> that's how you make your dumb thumbnails. That's how it feels like. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. I'm like Akihiko Sonata. I feel like it's been forever since we've gotten together like this. This time, the time for pointless jokes and jabs has passed. Let's get on with the show. So the current opened for the fifth time. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense. A deadly fail. Faith? Not fail. Yeah, it's a deadly fail, too. Uh -huh. you know what? Uh -huh. A deadly class trial. Okay. Well, let's save. I don't know. How much. Do you want to do any of the trial today, or do you want to call it a night? I don't know if you. It's gonna last long with you, for sure. Because you're slow. So slow. And you're slow. Mmm. -hmm. Well. With all the funny abilities we have. There's a lot, there's a lot we don't have on lock. And we'll, we'll see how much of it we can get done. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial so your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the black and then that the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Okay, well, I'll leave the rest up to you! Well then, let's discuss the specifics of the victim. First, we need to clarify who exactly unidentified victim is. It's Kyaka, dude. There's no other explanation. So Kyaka's standing right there. Nah, that's a ghost. But she has legs and stuff. No, that's just cuz. She's like the latest evolution in ghost technology. There's a limit to how much ridiculousness I can tolerate. Uh, okay, so I just have to prove that the corpse isn't Kyoko, right? Then let's compare Kyoko's traits to the traits of the dead body. Her traits? One important thing that Kyoko has that proves the body doesn't belong to her. Um, Kyoko's gloves. Hello. 
I'm talking about her gloves. They'll give us some insight into the mystery, I'm sure of it. In that case, I think it'd be helpful if someone explained why she actually wears those gloves. And would you happen to know the answer? In fact, Monokuma told me, apparently you have scars on your hands that you don't want anyone to see. Oh, you know, now that I think about it, the corpse was not wear on gloves, right? They probably just got burnt up in the explosion, dude. I'm not convinced. The ghost is just trying to fool us all. There's no way that corpse was Kyoko. But if I can't prove why, we're gonna be stuck here and the case won't move forward. So I don't have any choice but to make your argument. I have a tattoo, honestly. Or fake nails. Yeah, well, we'll have a look at those real quick. So, the body was wearing fake nails. The body had a tattoo of a dog on the right hand. And the explosion has burnt the upper half beyond recognition. The upper half of the body remained on fire and had to be extinguished. Because of this, the upper half was soaking wet while the bottom half was dry. That can't get there. He's just a ghost. It's so impossible. Okay, then prove it. Prove she's not a ghost. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. They got burnt up in the explosion. And she was wearing gloves before the explosion? Well, yeah, he must have been uh, something with the gloves. Because that corpse is obviously kill kill. This entire session's idiotic. I know that body isn't Kyoko, so I know I can prove it. Oh, let me see. How do I switch the things again? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to tattoo. Okay, just to make sure. The, um... The shoot. Just making sure I know how to shoot again. Shoot is... Man, you're so damn stupid. Oh, I, I know it's gonna last like five hours now. <laughs> I must leave. Good night. Okay. Fuck. I hate when that happens. See? See? <laughs> why is that always gotta happen, man? Because you suck at this game, that's why. Thanks, Beedy. Oh, that's not it. Okay. Well, do the explosion then, Maddie. Yeah, let's try that. Not it either. Uh, take nails, maybe. Ah, okay. No, no there's no way the corpse is wearing gloves. Whoever it was, they were wearing fake nails, remember? Imagine trying to wear gloves over nails like that would have been a pretty big pain. Yeah, like Kohania said. Besides, mm -hmm. Kyoko wears gloves to hide her hands, right? It'd be pretty weird for someone who's self-conscious about their hands to wear fake nails, don't you think? Jeez, man, you don't know a woman, huh? They're complicated like that. If anyone doesn't know a woman, it's you. Well, okay, Kyoko, okay, any thoughts? These gloves were custom made to the size of my hands to make sure they don't interfere with my daily life. If I wore fake nails, the gloves wouldn't fit properly. Yeah, see? And that's that. The dead body doesn't belong to Kyoko. This should have been obvious since she's standing right there. Okay, so then, who's the real victim? First thing you need to figure that out. That's the first thing I said. You're the one who's been dragging us around in circles. Before anything, we have to identify the victim. Everything starts from there. Well, this one should be pretty obvious. Just a matter of doing how to doing it. It's probably the tattoo. I want to make sure I switch to that, though. If Yoka is still alive, then he died. It's gonna be some way to figure it out. 
Something in the face was beyond recognition. And there wasn't any three in the Molecular Fell. Well, if you can't die, you try the body. Boom. The broken bitch. There was one clue left behind that we can use to identify the body. What? For real? If you're lying, you'll die a cruel and unusual death. A cruel and unusual death? This I can't see. Just being stupid, ignore them. My girl, tell us what you're talking about. The key to figuring out who it was. This is a tattoo on the back of her hand. Oh yeah, the sign pretty strange, huh? Is this a dog? Her master must be have made her good to be like, where am I be? Seriously? They really did something that humiliating? No, that's not it. The identity of the victim is hidden within that tattoo. Wow, really? If you compare the tattoo to other information we have, the victim's identity should be pretty clear. Um, the profile, right? Oh yeah, dum dum. Sandmere Mercenary Corps. That's the name of the military group Mukuri Kasawa belonged to. Okay, so. To show that they're a member of the team, each soldier that joins the squad would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere in their body. Fenrir. The image that represents Fenrir is. Oh, it's a hangman gabbit. Um. Wow. <laughs> Did you get any more obvious? All right, waiting for the W. Is there like multiple of these or something? No, okay, that 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 was easy. <laughs> the representation of Fenrir is a wolf. Fenrir, the wolf of Frank Rock, is from Norse mythology, a huge world ending wolf beast. He's a child of the trickster god to Loki and the female giant. This tea time, we finally got a glimpse of the literary all star. A wolf tattoo? And that means. Exactly. The body we found had a tattoo of a wolf. Which means that person must have once belonged to Fenrir. So it must have been Mukuro. What? Oh, hold on. Isn't she the, the one that was behind this whole thing? <laughs> You sound surprised, but you're absolutely right! Yes, indeed. The trial this time is to solve the murder of Mukuru Ikasaba. What? Are you saying the mastermind is dead and now we have to... No, it means we are wrong in thinking that Mukuru was the mastermind at all. Honey. Come on, honey, you gotta stop dying on me. I went to go jack off. Cough out of. What? Hi, honey. Sorry. It was too laggy. I had to leave. Okay. Uh. But I mean, being the ultimate disturbance, see. Seems like a pretty mastermind type, type to come to me. Maybe we shouldn't have been thinking of her as the ultimate despair in the first place. After all, looking at her profile, I didn't see anything that would fit such a description. All it said that she was the ultimate soldier. If I remember correctly, that other information came from Kyoko. That's what you told Makoto, right? So that means Yoko got it wrong? Then who was she? Who was Mukuro Kusaba? She's been gone this whole time, and when she finally took some turns up, she gets killed. Usually when there's a scene or an important hack to die, 
needs a lot of more detail. So you're saying she wasn't an important character? Which would mean she was the same as us, just another participant. Uh, then who's the real mastermind? It must have been the, the house speaker having a hug with her, after all. No, the headmaster there has nothing to do with it. But how can we trust that? We already know our information on Muku was wrong. My information was not wrong. Okay, okay. We're in the middle of a trial right now. Figuring out who killed Mukuro is first and foremost. Please limit all future prattle, chatter, and chit chat as much as possible. Fine. Uncovering the identity of the mastermind will have to wait. But remember this. No matter what happens, we will find out who you really are. I stake my family name on it. I have officially decided to completely ignore all such attempts at provocation. Now then, just so nobody's confused, let me state this one more time for the record. The reason we're having a class trial is because a murder among the students has taken place. Hammer that point straight into your big old brains. What you're saying is that the, both the victim and the culprit are part of the student body. And one of us killed the girl? Ah, uh, wait, no. There's a chance that there's some mystery 17th person who's been hiding all along. No! There are only 16 students in total that have been taking part in these events. Seriously? Then one of us killed Mukuro? Who did it? Who's the killer this time? Get a hold of yourself. We've already narrowed down the list of possible suspects. Huh? I'm sure you realize who I'm talking about, right, Makoto? Who the evidence points to? Based on what we know, there can only be two suspects. Um... First one. Makoto and Kyoko? Well, yeah, I am a suspect. <laughs> that is true. We narrow it down to Kyoko and me, right? Why do you say that? Allow me to explain. Just after nighttime last night, I went to the garden so I can confirm that at that point there was no dead body there. So the murder must have taken place after I left the garden. However, Hiro, Toko, and Hina and I were in the, in the gym the entire time. The gym? Oh, she looks surprised. That's right, the four of us were there trying to dismantle Monokuma. The whole time, we were very careful not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. All of which to say, the four of us all have alibis. The only ones without alibis. Army and Makoto. That's why you're able to narrow down the list of suspects. Exactly so. So the only suspects now are me and Kyoko. Damn it, I can't let this stand. Somehow I have to clear my name. I have something I'd like to say regarding the whole alibi thing. Are you thinking of raising an objection? Well, before that, I just want to try and get a better idea of what time the murder took place. Doing that might reveal some kind of clue. Whatever you want, somebody go ahead and help him out. Me and Byakuya can both confirm that the body wasn't in the garden at... Well, it was after night time for sure. I say it must have been around 10 o'clock. So the murder must have happened after 10 p.m. Then I guess we can't say the time frame for murder was between then and when we found the body? Oh, but what time did we find the body? The one who saw the body first was Toka, right? And she went to get the pickaxe. So what time was the body discovered? It was 9, right? 9. The body must have discovered at 9am, since that's when Toka went to get the pickaxe. Yep, this is what we got reminded of that. He's right, it had to be around then. So we can be totally sure. The murder happened sometime between 10 at night and, and 9 in the morning. For me, I was already asleep before nighttime hit, so I don't have an alibi after 10 o'clock. But I'm sure I met up with everyone else before 9 this morning. We ran into each other in the dining hall, right? That was around... Oh yeah, right around 10 at 30. I remember checking right before I went in, so I'm totally sure about it. So that would mean that Makoto has an alibi for 7.30 and onwards. Which means from 10pm to 7.30am you don't have an alibi. 
We already have it 10 p.m. and 9 a.m. I don't have an alibi from 10 to 7.30 a.m. Okay, then. Looks like the game's begun. If I can't provide an alibi for that period, then I just have to prove the murder didn't happen during the time I don't have an alibi. To do that, I have to make it clear when the body ended up in the garden. And the banger music. Probably has to do with the sprinklers, if I had to guess. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock and night. And 9 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, and the coder doesn't have an alibi for most of that time. Yeah, from 10 o'clock. So, 30. That's more than enough time to commit murder, I should think. So, Makoto, if you don't have any objections, now will be the time. There's something that happens in the garden at the same time every morning. Thinking back, the corpse is almost totally dry. In which case, it should be easy to figure out when the body must appear in the garden. A 7 of 7.30. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. Boom. Fuck. Uh -huh. I guess it's not 7.30. What are the other ones we have? 10 o'clock? Let me try this one. There we go. Boom. Oh, I said the frame was too long. At 7.30, yeah, not you. that Oops. you should shoot the 7.30. <laughs> Oops. Actually, the murder couldn't have happened anywhere near 10 o'clock. It had to have taken place way later. I won't make you say that. Because of the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off right at 7.30 every morning, right? So if the body had been in the garden before 7.30, then it should have been completely soaked. Hold on. I memorized this part perfectly. I'm like, it was wet. Everything wet, in fact. Sorry, Toko, but you're wrong. I'm wrong? How? Is me only the mouth down shot top was wet? How do you spill such instant and dense wood? No, I'm saying that the body was wet, but not because of the sprinklers. What do you mean? Jeez, how stupid are you? No, she's not stupid, she was literally out because she got blown up by the explosion. Oh, so she didn't right. see the light. Okay, so, so she's not so stupid. It's... Sorry, what, what would the word then be? More like, um, you're unaware? You're yeah. stupid. Thank you, honey. Yeah, she, she, she's unaware, that's what I wanted to say. You're stupid. Why, well, why? Well, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. Ooh, sorry, then. Mm hmm Are denying the sprinkler? Are you trying to deny my entire existence? Man, you're totally wacko. I really think it wasn't the sprinkler. Better tell us why. I hate to prove that it wasn't the sprinkler that got the body wet. All I have to do is hit Toko with certain evidence. If you look at the body itself, that should make it clear. Okay, we got one of those rhythm things. Wrong. You go select them. is really good though. Yeah, it is. Like the thing. What can you say to watch in this picture? Bitch. Boom. You're a bitch. Not me yet. No. Just remember what, you. what the body was like after the explosion. You'll see why it wasn't the sprinklers. Top half of the body was wet, yes, but the bottom half was completely dry. Dutch angle. If the sprinklers got the body wet, shouldn't the whole body have been wet? So they only got the top half? The one that was completely dry? What a brutal maniac. 
That's a sick of her. Let's just move on. The reason only the top half was wet was because... While the body was still on fire, I doused it with water, but only the part that was on fire, the top half. Oh, that I guess the sprinklers really didn't do it. So if the sprinklers didn't get the body wet, then the murder must have taken place sometime after the sprinklers turned on at 7.30 in the morning. Wow, that really narrows it down, doesn't it? Which means he must have been killed sometime between then and when the body was discovered at 9. Wow, that only leaves like a 1.30, you know, timestamp. Well, my cousin's one was only missing from 10 of the last night to spend drinking this morning, Mark. Right? How convenient for me. So there's no way Makoto could have done it. I guess you had an alibi after all. Good for you. In which case, the only one left without an alibi is Kyoko. Kyoko's the only one without an alibi. He's still not saying shit. Which would mean that Mukun's killer is... No, I refuse to believe it. Kyoko murdered someone? That's... Like, I just like to say one thing. If you vote for me and I die here, the mystery of this school will stay hidden forever. Which is why I can't let that happen. Ooh. Huh? So you're saying you're not the culprit? Of course I'm not. I have no reason to kill anyone. This is a trap the master might have laid for us. Huh? True, she was saying that. We're in this part of the game and now you decide to blame me? Stop wasting time! Stop wasting energy! You really think your little trick's gonna work? Shut up, you! You got it, boss! Shutting up now! Anyways, Kyoko, you actually did have a reason to kill her. Huh? She did? She thought Mukuro was the ultimate despair. In other words, the mastermind behind everything. So she killed her to try and put a stop to all this. Isn't that right, Kyoko? But you made one catastrophic mistake. Mukuru wasn't the mastermind at all. Well, that doesn't add up though, because she was the one who wrote the paper to look under the bed sheets, so she obviously no. knew. What? But, but who said she? When did it say when she found the paper? Maybe she knew about her existence before. Hmm. I don't know. Either way, she knew that she was the ultimate soldier. Yeah, but that doesn't mean she didn't, she didn't know. Hmm. Uh, like, she might have confused her with the ultimate spare or whatever. I see. And as a result, we are forced but... into another trial. Something I'm sure you weren't all expecting. Also, isn't it suspicious that she didn't know about there was a body in the, in the beginning with? Because she was in the monitor room? Mm, I guess. So how did she kill someone that she wasn't aware of? Hmm, good point. So that was her motive? If she had a motive and no alibi, then I think it's pretty clear Kyoko's gotta be the culprit. I'm not the only one without an alibi. I'm not the only one with an alibi. My daughter's claim is still insufficient. Huh? The sprinklers didn't get their body wet, but that doesn't mean the murder happened when he said it did. What are you... Because you see, there is a way that the body could have avoided getting wet. Interesting, I'm listening. All it would take is covering the body with a certain something to keep it from getting wet. Oh shit, the tarp! A certain something at the scene was used to cover the body. Where is the part? You're talking about the tar part, aren't you? We catch on quick. You're right, all you have to do is cover a body with the tarp, and that will take care of the water. Well, isn't that convenient? In fact, that's exactly what the killer did. The dirt fire on the tarp will cast a test to that. Only on one side of the tarp got dirty because that's the side that got covered in water. That side that face down 
over the buggy meanwhile if her face is clean. That proves that the killer used the tarp to keep their body from getting soaked. But why would they go through all that effort just to keep the body from getting wet? Also, I think so they could cloud the issue of when the murder actually took place. In other words, you could excuse exactly like the one that followed this people. Why would Kyoko say that? Why would she want to make me look like the killer? Well, it's probably one of her, uh, you know, classic diversion schemes. No, I can't yep. think about that right now. The tarp. If it was used the way Kyoko said, the tarp must have been touched, touching the body, right? But the body... Hey, something's not right. And what might that be? I can't worry about Kyoko's motivations. If I don't do something, everyone's gonna think I'm the killer. I have to refute what Kyoko said. Damn. Kinda of weird going against Kyoko for once. Yeah, our fighting. Mm -hmm. Uh hmm. I'm actually not too sure which one it could be. By covering the body with a trap, the killer prevented it from getting wet. So the reason the tarp was only dirty on one side is because the sprinklers got that side wet. But the underside of the tarp. It was totally spotless, right? It's because that side was protected from the water. That's since it was facing down towards the body. Of course it didn't get dirty. I remember the blood on the body hadn't dried yet. Yaku even warned us not to touch it to avoid getting any blood on it. Hmm. Uh, let me look at let me look at these. Exploded body analysis. Body before the explosion, thank you. Simple. Really? Yeah. Let me look at it. Uh, let's see. The body had stopped bleeding, but the blood was still wet. Oh, is that why the blood is wet? Yeah, Thomas. Oh, look at that. Okay. What? Let's see. Let's see what we gotta say. Um, let me try this. Okay, might be, the, might be the one after that. There is no thing after, I think. No, I think there's one more. There's like one at like the very end. Oh. Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay. Draw, oh, man. Break. Actually, Actually, one side being clean is pretty strange if you think about it. Because the blood wasn't dry before the body got blown up, right? Byaku said himself, not to touch it, you might get some on you. If you put a tarp on a body in that state, it absolutely would have gotten blood on it. Eh, uh, well, maybe the cover washed it so nobody could know they used it. If they had, they would have washed both sides. Just washing one side wouldn't hide anything. Ah, uh, yeah, true. More than that, but it's the very blood we saw on the body it was meant to have that kind of camouflage. Huh? The blood was camouflage? What if after a killer used a tarp to avoid the sprinklers? They then covered the blood in blood that didn't belong to the victim. You mean someone else's blood? What would they get something like that? Um, the doctor's room? Anna, they could have grabbed some of the blood packs from the nurse's office. That's what Hifumi did, right? When he pretended to be dead? No, that's not what's happened this time. The killer got the blood from right there in the garden. Oh, let me guess. They killed one of the chickens? Uh, where's the chicken thing? Could it have been chicken blood? What? Chicken blood? That's so weird. When I checked the chicken coop before the mortar, there were five chickens. But after the murder, there were only four. So you're saying someone killed a chicken and then covered the body with its blood? 
man, that's messed up. Any living thing just to do something like this off the dish and have a lit even I wonder if they had to get the blood from the team so they wouldn't get their beast by walking around. Anyway, there's no design of a particular one missing. It provides a basis of my, for my team. Perhaps, but even so, there's one thing that still doesn't make sense. You said the culprit used the top to avoid the water and then covered the body in blood, right? But if that's the case, then the blood should have soaked into the ground around the body. But that's not what we saw. Only the victim's clothing had blood on it. The ground was completely clean. I do agree. That certainly is strange. I mean, they do not apply the blood of the sea. Maybe they covered their coat in blood beforehand. Covered it beforehand? But I discovered a body. Was it wearing their coat like you normally would? I think so. Wait, no. The head was through the neck hole, but the arms weren't in the sleeves. And that settles it. Sorry, I'm having a tough time killing up. What settles what? Here's what happened. The murder took place before the sprinklers went up. But the blood didn't get wet because the killer covered it the car. Then later, at the same time, the killer was gathering up the car. They pulled the coat over the body because they covered the cover in blood. This series of cover-ups was meant to disguise the actual time the murder occurred. Well, that's always smart. They wanted us to think the murder happened sometime after the murder had gone off at 7.30. That's how I always like when they do that kind of stuff in games. It's like, oh, here's something they did to throw off the actual time of murder. If that's actually what took place, it certainly becomes possible that the murder happened earlier. to pull that off when they had, had to go back up to the garden after the spring was turned off that would actually wouldn't have been all that difficult huh? right they had to cover already so they just had to grab the tire and pull the clothes over the body maybe done in no time maybe but still you know, after you meet, met up with my father in the dining hall, you two stayed together from that point on. Oh no, I headed off to the gym. I'm gonna do the show up to later. So you have plenty of time to spare, what did you say? That's not... Don't bother saying it's not possible. Uh, I must admit Kyoko's reason is sound. Makoto's alibi is inadequate. Uh, and the suspicion falls back on me again. But why? Why is Kyoko trying to entrap me? I don't understand. Oh, wow, we got like something new in the middle of a trial. Well, then, looks like we're back to square one. Makoto's alibi is no good. So, once again, our suspects are him and Kyoko. Hey, serious, man. Which one of them did it? Hey, why don't we have a real left this side? Let's flip a coin. 50 50 odds. See? Pretty good idea, right? No, not that. I don't remember. It's just super serious. Well, don't just stand there. Out with it. Look at the knife we found all the back on birds. The one we found stuck in the body before it exploded, right? According to the Monokuma file, the knife went all the way through from front to back, dude. So, what about it? Pretty sure I'd seen that knife somewhere before. That's what I thought when I first saw it, I just remembered. I was the one with the knife. It's a knife. 
Oh, sorry. I was kind of getting a little too trigger happy there. What do you mean trigger happy? <laughs> I was. Oh, I, I thought I didn't realize the uh, flashback was done already. I don't see. Uh, there we go. It's the knife we gave to Makoto. You don't seem surprised. You must have noticed it earlier. Yeah. Then why did you hide that fact? It's not that I hid it, it's just... Oh, our favorite image is back. Page to your favorite image. <laughs> I couldn't be sure of what actually happened last night. I thought maybe I really did kill her. Suspicious. Very sus indeed. Good night, Jean. The knife he found stuck in the Good body night. came from Makoto. Good night, Jean. I tell you what, cutie. Once we get to the next, um, like, truth bullets thing, we'll stop for that for now. Okay. Now I'm totally convinced he did it. Ten thousand percent convinced. Considering everything up till now, I should be able to make it clear. I have to prove that I didn't murder anyone. I'm not the killer. Do this. Oh, you can't say you can't save in the middle of these. Okay. Um. Hold on. Let me look at my. Uh, you can't do this. Um, Split body fragments near the dead body and it's disguised the dead body. Okay, hold on. Let me let me let me go back to the start of this so we can read it all. I got kind of distracted there. I know. Let's see. I've already established that the coat was put on the body after the tarp was removed, which means when the knife was thrust from the coat into the body. Knife was we found lodging in the body. The same one we gave to Makoto. It really is, isn't it? I was afraid of that. If he did have the knife before then. That's, that steals it. Makoto did it, dude. Just because I had the knife once, that automatically makes me the killer. Well, getting stabbed is what killed her, right? So there's no question. You took that knife of yours and killed her with it. What a horrible man you are, my father. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna look at these again. So, the sky is the dead body, which is the newest one. I actually didn't read this yet. The murder took place before the sprinklers turned on. The suspect covered the body with a tarp to prevent it from getting wet. Later, when they removed the tarp, the suspect placed the white jacket on the body. This jacket had previously been treated with blood to make it look like the corpse had been wearing it. Okay, we'll try to keep that in mind. So it's now. probably that. Yeah. Because he said she, they were stabbed. Well, and stabbed. that was killed them. Remember? Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah. This one, yeah. Oh, it's not that. No. Wait. It didn't do anything. We gotta try that again. This guy is dead body again. I think it's because I think the pink words got in the way. Yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah, see? You're welcome. Okay, thank you, Bun Bun. Wait, hold on. The stab wound isn't what killed Mukuro. That should be clear from the description of the cover-up we just heard. Guys, we never talked about what killed her. No? Don't you remember? The killer covered the dead body with the tarp, and they then put the bloody coat on it, right? In other words, the victim never wore that bloodstained coat until after they were dead. Okay, fine. So what? So then when we discovered the body... The knife had been thrust through the coat all along with the body. I mean, if she wasn't stabbed until the coat was put on, and she was already dead at that point, obviously the stab wound is what killed her. Maybe he stabbed it twice. Once to kill her, once to cover it up. The victim was stabbed twice in the same spot? No, there's no way that's possible. The exact condition of the body is written down for everyone to see. 
Um, was it the uh, explo exploited body analysis? You know about the boom. That was what she was supposed to say spot twice, right? Well, I'm trying to. I was trying to think. Is it like it had to do with the like the scars that she had earlier? Is that it? Uh, the body before the explosion. Um. Uh, where's the one that says, um, there's the one that says, like, there was, hmm, where's the ones about the scars? Well, I feel like it has to do with that. What scars? Didn't it say she had, like, wounds on the body somewhere that were, like, from earlier? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Monokuma file. Monokuma? Oh, like, just the Monokuma file itself. Uh, yeah. They could have been stabbed a single time, which went through the body. They'd also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but there's several days old. Yeah, that. That's what I wanted to do. The Monokuma file clearly states that there's only one stab wound. Okay. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure when's a good place to save, but I'm thinking maybe we can do it right here. Okay. It's kind of a weird spot to it. end, but I don't, you know, I don't want to, you know, keep you uh, sitting through this whole trial while I try to find a good save spot. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, everybody, um, I know it's a weird spot to end the episode, but regardless, we will finish the trial next time and watch the uh, the maybe funny, maybe uh, sad death scene. Why so. maybe sad? Well, because I don't know what the death scene is gonna be yet. <laughs> Honey what knows. Death but... scene? Well, you know, the execution. I don't know what the execution is gonna be yet. Well, Thomas, why would you know? Well, yeah, yeah, I don't, so I'm interested to see what it's gonna be next time. What? Why are you interested in the execution? Are you okay? I know you're a psycho, but please <laughs> calm down. Or... Well, no, it's more like I'm interested to see, like, who's the one behind this, you know? Nah, I hear a cycle. Especially okay, from bumpkin. the intro. Especially from the intro. What about the intro? I... Whoa, it's a party on the ground. Yeah, kitty, hun. Nice. <laughs> Why are you so excited oh, about this party? All right. <laughs> oh, no. I go, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. There's a body. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Dumbo. <laughs> Anyways, Watch everybody, yourself. thank you for watching Danganronpa. Make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch. To Veggie. Yep, to Veggie. And uh, make sure to check out Cinnabon at Kafoo on Instagram. And we'll see everybody for the rest of the trial. So, see you guys then. Yeah, bye. Bye.